Hey everyone, I'm Katsuyami and welcome back to Resident Rise 3. Um, as you can see, I don't actually have much armor on and you can see sort of on my back there, I have a backpack on and these two awesome, uh, the armor and the uh, banner right there behind me. So if we have a look, uh, these are, well, this is a Bibliocraft stand, uh, armor stand, but on it is uh, Crimson Cult gear. Um, I did accidentally run across one of the map. I came up here to check out the taint, but right there is one of the little altar things. And I got attacked by one, and I ended up literally spending probably close to three, three Minecraft days there. Um, took ages. Most of my armor got destroyed. I died a few times, so I figured, hey, I'd wipe them out. Um, I did get more than one set, but I sort of combined them together to increase the durability and whatnot. Um, didn't see the point in having any more than one of each. Um, so yeah, I decided to put him on the stand. He looks creepy as shit, but well, I kind of like him. I think it's cool, and as well as the banners, you get them there as well. Um, if you come downstairs. Actually, if with that backpack, if I hold down Shift and I've changed F12, my shortcut key opens up. There's a backpack slot, and you can set it up to pick um, certain stuff up automatically. I've just got it there, so it's not on my bars uh, and in my inventory. But yeah, there you go. You can see, I actually hold shit. Um, so I found out a diamond dolly actually picks up monster spawners, so that's really cool. That's a um, a wisp spawner that I found uh, right there, right here. Um, so I've pretty much demolished that place, took all the uh, tiles and shit. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I have a traveling merchant that seemed to have moved in, um, but hey, that's fine. It doesn't really give me much. Um, emerald for a note block, yeah. Um, but I think it's in here. I did get this off of these, off those crimson cultists. So I think if I read it, I've gained permanent warp. But I think if I pull down my Thormonomicon, should have a warp thing. Uh, okay, that didn't really show me much. Do I get a little warp? No, uh, I don't know then. Well, yeah. I pick up warp, I don't know what it does, I guess we'll find out as we go. Um, I could read that, but that's kind of against my religion, you know, reading's hard. But as you can see, I have actually ha um, researched a lot, um, not much here to be honest, I probably should, but um, yeah, I figured I'd do most of the research off camera because it's boring as shit, I mean it's it's simple as, um, but yeah, so I, I've haven't haven't like looked up all uh, researched all of it, but I've researched a good portion. I think um, even got into the Osmotic Enchanter. Um, again, I haven't even made this stuff, so you're not missing out on anything. Um, Energistics. What the hell is AOBD? Okay, whatever. Um, dude, stop opening my door. Um, so well, let's start off. Um, I do want some more armor and shit, but I guess I'll start off by making um, some goggles revealing. You know, some leather, gold, thorn meters, it, it's simple. But I made all this enchanted fabric, which is literally just a piece of uh, wool in the middle with um, one piece of string, top, bottom, left, and right. And it takes like one, one um, viz of each, off each time or something. But we can make some uh, thermiturge stuff. So um, I could make the traveler's boots but I kind of want the viz discount and I will show you why I don't really need the speed right now I think that looks pretty sweet I do like the goggles that's pretty awesome um, so yeah we've got that for now but um, today I really want to get into the some of the Britannia stuff as you can see I've had some runes here so I will show you how to make all this um, need that and that and I uh, yeah I'll take those two why not all right so if we just come over uh, to here as you can see I did set up um, it's not the most perfect setup um, don't get me wrong um, if we have a look in here all that mana I have so much mana it's brilliant but these pools should really be one more wide, so it should be a three by three. So every now and then I've got to go through like this one here, and I've just got to reset it up. So, um, yeah, what the hell? Whoa, I swear I heard something weird going on then. Uh, in any case, oh, um, 
<laughs> I can hear my heart beating and the screen went black. Man, that's creepy as shit. Maybe that's that warp thing they were talking about. Oh, well. Uh, in any case, let's just move this shit to my way. Get out of it. Thank you. Uh, so what we want to do is there's a few things I want to make. So if we have a look at the baubles and accessories. Now, the first thing I really want to make is a band of aura. Now, it's a ring that basically creates mana just by wearing it. Um, very slowly, but it does create mana. So that's good. But it needs a rune of mana. To make that, I need a mana pearl and mana sting. It's, but I don't have a mana pearl. I do have an ender pearl, however. So if I just take this over to one of these, as long as it's got enough mana in it, and throw it in. Boom. Get a mana pearl. So what we do is we throw that on there. And I think it said five. One, two, three, four, five. Might be six. One, two, three, four. Nope, it's five. Then we just give it a tap. There we go. You can see just, just next to my cursor there, um, the uh, the rune being created. Now, it's being created really quickly. Um, as long as you got mana, it generally doesn't take too long. But I didn't want to create a dozen runes. Um, and they're all created the same way, just using different materials. Now, you can tell when it's ready because you'll see all the lightning and shit. It looks awesome. Uh, but you just grab a piece of living rock, throw it on top. If I can freaking aim. There we go, and just boom. There we go, look at that. Created. Uh, so let's just give me that. Um, just throw all the stuff I'm not going to need in there. Uh, no, I need that. It's Okay, um, as you see, I have a mana tablet there. That's really simple to make. Um, whereabouts was it? Uh, if we just go into the index, uh, M M M. Here we go. Uh, mana blaster. Where the hell is it? <laughs> uh, maybe if I just press uh, R on it. Mana tablet. There we go. Um, no, that. What the hell? Come on. It's definitely called a mana tablet. Where the hell is it then? Pylon, mana void. Um, oh, hang on. I think if I look in band of uh, band of mana, because I need it for this. There we go. It's just a mana pearl or a mana diamond. They're created the exact same way, just using a um, a uh, ender pearl or a diamond just thrown into the um, mana pools there and just surrounded by living rock get your mana tablet um, I did originally create that because I wanted to move the mana pool from over there and you can fill the mana tablet up from these um, however well, all I want to do at the moment is I want to turn them into some rings so I'll we'll just use this now I believe the rune of mana goes there and then I put four mana steel ingots like that Band of Aura. So I'll just equip that. Oh, yep. Just hit the bobbles and equip that. Awesome. I've learned inner arts. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, now the next ring I want to make is the band of mana. Now this stores mana. So these this works in conjunction with the band of aura. So it uses the mana tablet. So we'll just create that. Just get rid of that. Put you up there. There we go. Band of mana. Now I can actually fill this up. Uh, if we just have a look there, you can see it's accepting mana from items. So if we just make sure that's on function mode, shift click, it says sparing mana to items. So if I throw that in there, you can actually watch. And if you look closely, you can see the actual mana draining from the, um, the pool there, which is really cool. Um, I really do like the visuals in this mod. You can see I've filled it up a little bit. Don't really need to fill, fill up two more. It'll fill up slowly as we go. But what this does is you can see I have a mana steel sword. It will no longer take durability damage. Instead, it will use the mana from my mana ring, my band of mana, uh, as its durability. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. And even if I do run out of mana, it starts using up the durability on this. As long as it doesn't break, I can fill up the band of mana in one of these pools, and it will repair the mana steel sword. Now it works for all the mana steel items, so that is really freaking awesome. But I do have some other runes here. Um, so if we have a look, I want to make a pyro class pendant. Now what this does is it absorbs fire, more or less. So while I'm not standing in for, on fire or in lava or anything else that'll just burn me, so anything really hot or whatever, um, it'll just extinguish the fire on me straight away. So that requires, what, four bits of string, a rune of fire, and a rune of summer. So the rune of summer was a bit more difficult. I had to make the rune of air and the rune of earth. 
So they're pretty simple, just carpet, feather, string, mana steel, and the other ones, mushroom, block of coal, and stone with the mana steel. So that was really easy. Um, the slime ball was what, actually what let me down. Um, so well, for starters, let's go inside and uh, hand this off uh, and make this. Um, I don't really want to be out here when all the bad guys come. Because, yeah, no, my luck, I'll get jumped by a festive creeper. Let's just sleep through the night. Oh, if it'll let me up, there we go. Yep, uh, you can hear my um, <laughs> my moocher has moved, uh, has come inside. Oh, bastard! You could at least trade me something decent, you jackass. Uh, so let's just grab uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I have a heap of string. Um, the easiest way to do that I found is you get a crook from Ex Nihilo. Um, I believe I put it in my bag. Yeah, crook. Um, that's just made with four four uh, sticks, just like that. Um, and yeah, you bash leaves, and then you will have a chance to pick up. Ooh, I wonder where I put them. Oh, here we go. Silkworms. Um, I got a massive tree. You put the silkworms onto a leaf and onto the leaves, and what that does is it infests them. When you break them, um, they drop string and some more uh, silkworms. So I had I had well over a, well over two stacks, um, but again I used them on creating this stuff. Uh, so yeah, what were we doing? We were creating the uh, pyroclast pendant. So I believe it's four like that. Oops, do I have any more? I do not. Uh, so we'll have to create some uh, mana steel ingots. That's simple. It's created exactly the same as I made the mana pearl. Um, but you just use iron ingots. Um, obviously, it's going to use a lot less mana than what the mana or than what the uh, ender pearl did. But it they do still use mana. So just throw one in there. And I think there's a rune of fire and a rune of summer. Ah, there we go. Pyroclass pendant. And again, you just equip that in your ball slot there. But there's one last thing I want to make, which is why I didn't make the Boots of the Traveler. If we have a look, there's the, the so Sword Juniors stash. I don't know, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. For starters, I said stash instead of sash. I mean, hey, it'd be pretty cool if it did make it look like it had a stash, but, you know. <laughs> so that's really simple. Rune of Earth, Rune of Air, Mana Steel, and some leather. So I should have a little bit of leather. We'll have to get a um, cow farm going. Uh, everything I do seems to want to use up all my leather. Uh, one, two, three, four. Just again use my workbench pack. Bench work pack. Ah, oh, whatever the hell it's called. Workbench backpack. Jeez. There we go. One there. And then it's a rune of air and a rune of earth. Makes the sword a sash. There we go. So now that's everything. However, look how fast I run. Man, I run heaps fast. And I jump two blocks high so um, no more getting stuck in holes I don't think and it'll step up one block automatically um, this is really freaking awesome I hate moving slow um, <laughs> I was messing around in my single player world with this and yeah when I came back to here I was like oh man it's so slow uh, it seems to be I skate over one one whole gaps too that's pretty cool I also believe uh, if we just jump, ah, missed. Uh, if we go over here, where the water, there we go. Look at that. Look how fast I move. As long as the water's only one block high, man, it's insane. But yeah, they, they, these these are what I was really after from um, Britannia, uh, at least to start off with. Um, I believe you can upgrade some of them. Um, but yeah, but what we can do now is I'm sick of my pickaxes breaking. So to make the actual uh, tools, it's not quite as simple as just using a stick. You've got to actually use a living wood stick or twig, I think they are. Yeah, living wood twig. Now that uses two of the living wood just to make one. So we'll make I don't know we'll make uh, make ten. There we go. And then it's just like creating anything else. Just simply using mana steel and living wood twigs. So take the mana steel pickaxe, and I think the mana steel pickaxe looks pretty cool. Um, bit of a shame that the sword doesn't exactly have a spax texture, but you know, oh well. 
Uh, so yeah, now I have a, a pickaxe that will never break. Um, I believe it's they're supposed to be the same as um, uh, iron tools. Uh, let's see, mana steel, mana steel equipment. Um, same properties as iron. Um, they're in enchantability and durability is superior. However, I believe, uh, at least it was um, when I last checked, um, but that was uh, last uh, update for the Resident Rise 3. Still 1.7, 0.10, but you could actually mine obsidian with it. But, you know, again, I don't really need to do that. I've set up a Ex Nihilo setup with uh, extra utilities. So I'm using a transfer node. Um, with a world interaction upgrade, go straight into the crucible that makes lava. Then I've just got the liquid transfer node into the stone barrel. And using these stone slabs, I've just put water in there and that will automatically create obsidian for me. So I don't even need a pickaxe for it. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, so we just come in here. Um, 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 um. We'll throw you in there. Oh, lucky I've got a spot left, eh? Um, yeah, I've got a lot of lot of crap. Um, I've started smelting my ores. Um, there we go. I even made an ender chest. I did go to the nether. Um, but yeah, so I've been using these quite a lot. More silver. Brilliant. Um, but let's have a look. So that's pretty much what I wanted to get done with the uh, Batania. I'll have to look into a bit more, see what else we can do. But since I've got that, let's have a look at some... Uh, Thormometer stuff. Actually, Thor Thormometer, Thormcraft stuff. Actually, if we have a look at the quest book, you can see I've actually created, uh, completed a heap. So uh, if we go here, um, was it in Eternity? I did notice that I've completed Skeleton Hunter. So that gave me what, 16 bones, 16 gold heads, a skeleton skull with the skulls. Wow, that's brilliant. Now that's a daily. That that's pretty OP if you ask me but hey I'm not gonna complain sounds pretty good uh, so yeah I've completed those which you've seen last time but in Thorncraft stuff if we open this up um, look at these you get aura nodes from them now I don't want to put them down just yet um, so if we do that you can see I've got an aura node in my um, pack there it says creative mode only but I guess the um, book bypasses that so we'll just throw the aura node in there uh, put the gold away. Um, so yeah, that's just for creating an iron cap one, which is simple. Creating the Thormonomicon, you get eight mystal, mixed crystal clusters. The arcane workbench, which is just three of the tables and the scribing tools. It gives you another aura node and eight knowledge fragments. So I'll claim those. The Thormometer gives me eight more knowledge fragments. But I haven't quite created this one yet, so we'll work on that one once I find a um, great wood tree. Um, that one gives me two nodes and a wand recharge pedestal, which is cool as. But uh, yeah, so I'll be putting um, all my nodes in here until I actually create a Thorncraft um, building, I, I guess you would call it. Um, throw those in there. I've got quite a few of those now. Uh, as you can see, yeah, I've got the uh, heap of the Ethereal Essence. Um, they are from the uh, Wisp Spawner that I did mention. I did set it up for a little bit, but yeah, so that's really cool. Okay guys, so I thought just before I go, I would show you where I've got my portal. So you did see me build this last time, but I have built the nether portal down here. Um, unfortunately, when I go through, I'm on top of a mushroom and it's a mile, miles and miles. It takes me about 15 minutes just to get to the, um, oh man, that's so much easier than jumping. Um, miles away from a nether fortress, but yeah. I, I've got the nether portal, so that's fine. I'm, I did manage to get some of the stuff I was after. I'll get inside before the baddies come. Uh, but yeah, that that's pretty much everything I want to get done today. Um, I did manage to go through all the um, quest stuff. Um, I will. I, I do think I know where a great wood tree is, um, so I'll go have a look for that and pick it up and whatnot. Um, I believe it's over here. It's right about there. Um, so hopefully I can ninja that. Um, Full Metal Agent did drop by today to pick up the um, pack. And uh, yeah, uh, so hopefully, with any luck, depending on how his internet, because he has had to move, um, uh, with any luck, he will be getting back into all this. Um, he, he is keen, but again, it's all dependent on his internet. Um, 
so we might be we, we should have a few a few videos coming out on the Ozplay channel um, that we have recorded that we've just been been you know have uh, Full Metal hasn't really had time to edit them while he's been moving, so he should be doing those hopefully within the next week or two. Um, so we should have some videos coming out there. So do keep an eye on that. Um, but hopefully we should have some some Resident Rise three coming out there soon. Um, so I'm gonna call you Fred, buddy. I'm gonna call you Fred. I wonder if I can name you. Let's just see if I name you next time. Hopefully you're still around. Um, sorry, I, I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, so so that's pretty much it for me for this time. Uh, next time I will build. I'll, I'll try and have built a uh, Thorncraft building, probably even a Botanica building there. And I do want right next to my mine. I do want to put like a a, a smither, a blacksmith, um, so I can start with my um, Tinker's construct stuff. But we'll see how we go with that. Um, so yeah, until next time, guys. Take it easy. Yeah. So as you can see, they're flo floating around. It actually looks really cool, and you get the cool particles.